box of Champions of Asia for Vanguard. Got this a little early today. See, it's perfectly sealed and everything. Uh, definitely probably one of the better sets to come out for extra boosters until uh, extra booster three. <laughs> for good paladin. <laughs> no good paladins. Good paladins gonna be broken. So uh, gonna probably. Start. I mean, it's, it's got a lot of potential. Let's be honest here. Yeah, as old being the VR and probably just gonna have the corn stamp on it. So with every one of these extra boosters, you get three markers, one of which will be one of the VRs from the set, the other two just being regular markers, and in this one we've got the Basker tech marker, but there's also a little bonus. Um, because Bushiro seems to be having issues printing stuff, in the back of these is now Demonic Joka, and she has the correct text on her, where she soul blasts and returns to hand compared to how good the non-eroded error was, where she just gave plus 10k to herself <laughs> if you retired a unit. Yeah. I don't know... Uh, I don't know uh, how you... First pack. Misprint that. Yeah. It, it seems you have last. First pack, though? Maelstrom? Pretty strong start off. I mean, somebody needed that. <laughs> you yeah. needed one more, didn't you? <laughs> now you just want more. We're gonna go ahead and rip all these out. I already pulled the VR, so hopefully that means uh, better double R's and triple R's to get. Next up is just some rares. Mm -hmm. Definitely probably in my opinion. I know everyone's probably seen this set, seen it already. Die Tigers, all that fun stuff. Oh, there we go. Bone Dragon. Now the real question is, is there a boneless dragon? <laughs> you, yeah, you gotta get those... Uh, at those hard Romero. <laughs> Dandy Guy Romero. I yeah. mean, he's a good card. Yeah. In my opinion, a lot of people, I think, are sleeping on the fact that he should just run for it. I thought it was hilarious because uh, he was pre-selling at, like, 20s. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. What is he sitting at right now? Do you know? Five. Ooh. I just checked. Yeah, he yeah, was pre-selling at 20. The VRs were, all the VRs were selling at, pre-selling at 40s. And the S viewers were pre selling at 80s. Yes. Yeah, you just look at you like, alright, man. Alright, calm down. <laughs> oh, cool. Dayusha, triple rare. Dayusha. Definitely one of the best Force Clans to come out. Hate and uh, Kagero and Shadow Paladin are definitely going to be some of the most mainstay things we'll see at the uh, Houston Regional I coming think, up. I think the only uh, Force Clan that really stacks up to the police is Spike Brothers. That is true. Spike Brothers does hit the, which thank God it isn't an Excel. But if it was an Excel clan, I hope Spike Brothers would probably be one of the best Excel clans in the game. It's, There's it's, the Aqua Force Perfect Guard. They just have a lot of, a lot of real good tech options. Yep. You know, between uh, fuck, what was his name? That was probably his name. <laughs> the Grade One. Uh, so, from from the bets. I say we get one more triple yeah, rare. That's his name. So we get one more triple rare, guys. Oh no, we got another double rare, and it's Laurel. Eh, that's an okay box. Yeah. Overall, I think the box the, is pretty uh, good. Maelstrom, which I guess was important. Yeah, it's going into Tidal Assault. That kind of sucks, but another Maelstrom is always welcome. For some of us. <laughs> yeah, for some of us. <laughs> But uh, this is basically everything you get. I will show the uh, Maelstrom marker also. And probably one of the more beautiful markers, in my I mean, opinion. The better marker is what's on the back of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the back marker is Kenny Omega, guys. You know. Kenny Omega, the secret of. We do need more copies if anyone has any <laughs> spares. Yes, I'm looking for, like, I think 49 more Kenny Omegas. <laughs> my goal is that, no, I'm not going to have it on the back of every card. As a joke, I'm going to sleeve a joke standard deck with Kenny Omega as my back on double sided Dragon Shield. <laughs> <laughs> just to just Shout to prove a point. Dragon Shield for making the best sleeves on the market. Yeah, Dragon Shields by far if you are not buying them. Uh, should be. Yeah. If your deck's worth more than a hundred dollars, you should be sleeping in Dragon Shield like every real. time. And the fact is that Dragon Shields just have great quality. I promise it's not a paid sponsorship. We just really like Dragon Shield. Yep. Yeah, we do. 
And in fact, if you look at the table, you just have a bunch of dragon shields lying around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's positive every single deck that's currently on the table is filled with uh, dragon, dragon shields. Shield. Yep, the Kage's in whites, the Aqua Forces in blues. What are yours in? The uh, Cyber Ors. They were in Sky Blues, but I just switched them over to that. Yep, and this is just not a selfless boy. Um, every few months these do rotate out and Dragon Shield will put another different art in but this is Cyber, you can get it at many of your local game stores and even online and I'd say it's definitely worth the pickup. They also have one called Blood Eyes which I can't show right now because I don't want to dig through my bag and get it but Dragon Shield art sleeves are definitely going to hold up the best. Dragon Shield needs to make more matte more matte art sleeves. I don't yes. know, they're sleeping on that. Like they only made one, they only had one printing of a yep. matte they, they just need more. Yeah, but thank you guys for watching, and we'll probably see you next week with another box opening, and goodbye. Uh, don't forget, we also have a comment below, subscribe.